legendary Bo Angles. Hey everyone and welcome to Madariki Park and thank you to Nine Rock Games for sending us the beta for Way of the Hunter. I'm excited to get into this. Now real quick, if you're new to the channel, then you may not know that we are the number one fishing game channel on YouTube. I'm a real life hunter and angler as you may see on our second channel, the MDO or the Modern Day Outdoorsman. You know it's cool, right? But if you've been here for a while, then you may know that we started out our channel by playing the Hunter Call of the Wild and other hunting games out there. So really this is right up our alley. Now I know a lot of people don't like the story to be spoiled on new uh, DLCs like this, so I've opted to just go straight into the free hunt of Madariki Park. I will say, I did look up the pronunciation of this, so I hope I'm saying it correctly. So hit the like button and let's get into hunting, everyone. Wow, this is quite a resort here. I wouldn't mind staying here. Goodness gracious. I think all of our fellow Kiwis can probably uh, tell us, but this is how I assume everyone in New Zealand lives. Very similar to this. Everyone in New Zealand has a house exactly like this. This is amazing. Fun factoid for you. <laughs> we'll eventually get to hunting here. One fascination I always have when we get to new maps like this is just to kind of go through all of these different, uh, are there really whitetail and, and, and elk here? <laughs> what is that about? Go through all of these, two red deer fleeing. I always like to go through these and see them all. I love to see the different mounts that we could possibly make. That's so cool. Those are the weakest fallow deer I've ever seen. There's a chamois, very nice. Sambar. Getting a little bit of a look at the different animals that are going to be here. Feral goats, very nice. Feral pigs. Himalayan tar. There is an animal that we always thought was going to come to the hunter call of the wild and never did, so that is awesome to see. The bear. The New Zealand bear, of course. All right, taking a look at the map now now. Wowie zowie. I assume up in these mountains is where we'll see some of those goats, but uh, interesting. Okay. We're just gonna have to get out and start walking. I have been driving around now and kind of checking out some of the areas here. This grassland over here, and this is kind of so highlands. I've been noticing some chamois up in the, yep, there's one running by right now. Some chamois up in the, uh, the mountains up here. You have discovered Matariki Park's mountain habitat. The mountain the volcanoes habitat. may be sleeping, but that in no way means that there's no life here. These mountain peaks are home to Himalayan tar, chamois, and the mighty sambar deer, among others. If you're not scared by steep slopes and tricky trails, this is a place to challenge yourself. Ooh. Chamois. I've been mispronouncing it my whole life. Looks like something the riders of Rohan would be uh, riding through, doesn't it? You have discovered Matariki Park's lowland forest habitat. If you're looking for the best trophies, you've come to the right place. Sika and fallow deer, whitetails, and of course, red deer, they're all here. As you explore these dense forests, remember that the most incredible trophy of your life could just be around the corner. Well, cool. I realized that we didn't do a rundown of the uh, grasslands or watch that video, but- You have discovered Matariki Park's grassland habitat. As you would expect, grasslands are the most diverse habitat in Matariki Park. Hares and rabbits, ducks and pheasants, boars, and almost any deer you can imagine, it's all here. Don't let the relatively small size of the area trick you. This place is full of surprises. Hopefully that gives you an idea of kind of the layout of the land. We've got some mountains over here. I assume more mountains over here. We're not looking in that direction right now. And then grasslands over here. I thought this was going to be more tropical. And maybe it does as we get into this Awaiti uh, woodland over here. But uh, that's interesting. I was noticing elk, uh, some Sika deer, some uh, maybe feral goats and feral hogs over in this area. Uh, looks like we're going to deal with more deer species up in the uh, roto uh forest, as well as the chamois and the, uh, you know, mountainous species up in this, uh, this area. But we don't have access to that right now, so we might avoid that for the time being. So I do have goals for this uh, video. I do want to get us a New Zealand red deer. I want to go find one of those. It would be cool to see some of the goats species the chamois the tar would be really cool especially since we didn't have the tar and the hunter call of the wild um those are my main three but i wouldn't mind getting anything else in between something to look forward to i suppose well we are up in the highlands now up in this uh top right we'll start making our way south here but we just drove up here so i figured we'd just kind of look around it looks like an area that would have some red deer in it also looks like an area that would do quite well on horseback oh wow look at that whole herd of elk over there well, we're looking for stags not elk yeah quite a few elk up in this uh whole lake up here that's bugling but so far this video has been 
A walking simulator. So we might as well go uh, shoot one of these mature bulls over here. Got good wind, got a good elevation. Now we just kind of need to wait for the right shot. That old guy over there looks pretty good too, but he was a two star compared to this guy being a three star. Everything he does just doesn't work for us, does it? Oh no, now he's bedding down. I'm not sure. You know, I wasn't sure what it really gave us there, so I kind of had a freak out moment. But we might send that guy parting gift. Oh, he's laying down too. Okay, good. Kind of worried. We shot that other one. Okay, good deal. Landed two different bulls. Now if we can keep an eye on these chamois. They are running. Unless these are tar. Not exactly sure what they are. Could they be tar? We're just rhyming now. He was bedded down broadside to us. I figured might as well take the shot. But something about that blood splatter when it first popped up, I was thinking, I don't think we got him. We did. So that's good. Well, we're getting close to our downed elk, but at the same time, we're also getting close to these guys, which I do believe are tar now that we've gotten close to them. I want to see the main on one of these tar, but unfortunately there are only adults over here so far. Well, for the sake of exploration, let's take out one of these males here, even though they're one star adults. That should take that guy down. Yeah, dropped him. 243, Steyr Pro Hunter, wooden stock. She nearly dropped him, didn't go 20, that's for sure. Here's our unfortunate uh, one that we shot while trying to follow up the other one, but we actually made a decent shot on him, even though we weren't trying. Unfortunately, well, at least he didn't have to struggle for too long. Overview of this guy, young male. Yeah, he would have been a pretty nice one, I assume. 64% decent. This guy, a little bit different story. Three star Rocky Mountain Elk, mature. Check him out. We did get the double lung. Mm, maybe not. We hit that bone, that little rib right there, and that evidently absolutely killed our energy going into him. So we only got the one lung, which is why he ran so far. But look out the, the antlers on that guy. I would be happy with that. We got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. We have seven by seven. Three stars? You're kidding. I, I'm thinking taxidermy. It's only three stars, but heck, that thing looks amazing. Let's go check out our tar. Now, if I was going to New Zealand, I probably wouldn't be going there for an elk. But the tar, that is a different story. That is cool. Get a bit of a look there. There are times where I wish that we could turn off the x-ray vision. You can, you can show the animal and show the organs, but you can't just turn off the shot and the, the organs and the skeleton and all that. I just want to see the animals sometimes. First look up close at the Himalayan tar. One star, 54% on the uh, genetics there. It was a decent shot. Now we just need to find a chamois and a red deer still. Oh my, look at all the tar. I was coming up to this northern lake to see if there was anything there. And sure enough, there's tar all over the place. That is hilarious. Look at them. They're running around like a bunch of rats out of a hole escaping. There, with that last need zone, we got the Himalayan tar icon on the map. Good deal. The tar are also a lot smaller than I thought they would be. I'd seen them in pictures, and I, I guess I thought they would be smaller than like a whitetail, for instance. But I didn't realize that they would be as small as they look in this game anyway. I mean, they look like they're about the same size as like maybe a roe deer? I'm not even sure, but not very large. I'll be curious for those people who have seen uh, Himalayan tar in person if uh, if this scale in the game looks accurate. Oh, way over there. There's a two-star mature. <laughs> Woo! Goodness gracious. The detail on the horn's kind of fun. Well, let's claim this guy. We got left lung, but for some reason it just absolutely dropped it this time. Oh, do we get the spine afterwards? Yeah, we got the spine afterwards. Okay. Well, it was a better shot than I thought. Oh, dear. So we are in an area we can't hunt right now, but I thought this was pretty cool seeing all these chamois over here. And we just saw a deer running by too. So I'm not sure what it was. But to give you an idea, there are chamois all over this bottom left corner here. And we are finding all sorts of little points of interest, making our way up to Pua Rise. <laughs> I definitely did not pronounce that right, but we can hunt there. So I am uh, still making our way up north, 
so that we can uh, get into some hunting land, like Jurassic Park or something. It's a, <laughs> it's a cool angle. Well, we might start walking from here because it looks like this kind of reminds me of the mountains the Shamwa were in in the other uh, bottom left region. So we might have more opportunities for uh, some of those uh, target animals we're going for. Oh, interesting. Found a feral goat hotspot. Bless my beard. I think that's a red deer right there. He is on the opposite mountain, 400 and some odd yards away. You know, and one thing that I remember in the Hunter Call of the Wild that I ran into quite a bit, and everyone did really, was the render distance, you know? Um, sometimes you wouldn't see animals just because you weren't close enough to them, but this red deer is a perfect example because it's... 600 yards away right now and we can still see that sucker out there i was curious if we'd find a campsite up on top of the mountain but no it seems to be some sort of research station I believe those are more tar yeah i felt so lucky to find tar the first time and now i'm realizing that it might just be super easy to find look at that 1.1 miles away let's see that guy out there Ooh, ooh, ooh. male chamois 140 160 yards oh those are, okay we found the chamois. Nice, okay, so we can actually see what size they are too. That might be our target, guys. Keep an eye on him, and next time one gets out of the way here. <laughs> Dropped him, let's go. With the 243 on the chamois, we weren't using a large caliber. I don't know, I was looking up stuff, and it seemed like 223, 243 was the kind of caliber to use on these guys, um, in real life anyway. We got feral goats over here now. good shot on that feral goat there thought he had some pretty impressive horns i'm not sure if he's good or not didn't look at him through the binoculars but yeah i was gonna say we got a pretty good shot on him i didn't think he would run that far good deal well cool look at those horns how about that our first chamois here in the new zealand park take a look here we got in the back with the lung though so i guess that works it was walking so you know we had to get it a little bit on the on the walk it was moving but right on. First chamois looks good. Go get our feral goat now. All right. Our first little feral goat here. Fun little horns on him. Got a little curl in him. That's cool. Blame this guy. I kind of just went off the horns there. I really didn't know how big he was, but we got the lung just barely. Good look. Good look. It was a two star mature. I guess it was. A, I went with my gut and it worked out. We got a we got a decent little guy there. Two stars. Fantastic. That's good to see. Glad that we found more uh, chamois and tar in a place that didn't uh, require permission. Well, it looks like the red deer we previously had our eyes on is now bedded down on this opposite side here. A little bit of wind going on. Uh, Shamwa up there trying to figure out what the heck just happened. Nice blood trail leading to him. I mean, there was no mistaking where he was. <laughs> nice. Little crown at the top there. Very cool. Got the left and right lung with the 9.3. 50.95 on the genetics there. One star. That is good. That is our first red deer. First look at the red deer anyway here in New Zealand. Now this is specifically the New Zealand version of, uh, of the red deer. So that is, that is really cool. I have heard whisper that these red deer in New Zealand will be bigger than the ones that were in Transylvania or wherever that was. Uh... Yeah, Wadariki Park. That's awesome. Mmm, would you look at that? Can't see what they are from here, but I would think either Sika or Sambar. Definitely a different type of deer than we've seen so far. Alright, we can get a closer look now. They are Sambar, right on. There we've got a one-star mature we could probably take out to get a closer look. Goodness gracious, there's all sorts of stuff happening right now. we got Sambar making noise out in front of us. I'm worried that they're running away, even though I've been... Traveling real slow. Well, they are running. That's a three-star mature sandbar right there, too. It's a moment like that that makes me kind of question everything going on in the game. Because we're traveling through thick timber. I can't even see them. Going super slow, as you can tell right now. They're not making any noise from what I can hear. And yet, they all got up and ran away for no apparent reason. <clears throat> Well, we've found the sandbar again. However, they're way up on top of the mountain now. No, there's a pretty decent buck right here, but he's right beneath where these branches are. Whoa, we hit him. We hit him. He's running. Yeah, I was going to say, that wasn't a bad shot either. He's still going. 
but I don't think he's gonna go far. There we go, man. Look at that. Let's go. What a buck. Yeah, that looks great. All right, let's take a look at this guy. See what we've got here. Left lung at 468 yards. It is the three star mature. We did really well, top notch. I'm really excited about that. That one made the episode for me. <laughs> I've been out here for a good couple hours and uh, you get a deer like that and you get pretty excited. I don't know. I haven't found many deer or many anything in this game over three stars because I really haven't spent a whole lot of time uh, in investing into it. But man, when you actually do find a four or five star animal, it makes you feel pretty good. That is awesome. Let's go ahead. We're going to send this guy to taxidermy, I think. Well, I spawned in at the grassland area again, and sure enough, there are a ton of animals just down by the beach right now. 239 yards, got an eyes on a two star mature male. A little far back there. Get a second one in him. Yep, he dropped dead. Look at all these sandbar that were right over there. Real close to us. Everywhere. And I mean, the little lodge is just right over this hill. All right, let's check this guy out. Our feral pig. Very nice. Got liver intestine. Yeah, that first shot really wasn't great, but that second shot made up for the whole thing. Lung. We got a heart. Oh, that's awesome. Yeah, we really made up for that first shot <laughs> right in the heart. He didn't know what hit him. Fantastic. That's great to see. All right. There we go. The Seek a Deer. Two lungs. Nice. Get a nice look at the antlers there. I can imagine this guy. Three, four stars. Pretty impressive. Pretty similar to the uh, the elk and stuff that we've seen. And it's similar to the sandbar in the same way. But this is the Seeker. Very cool. I love that we've taken a look at most of the new animals coming with this new map. It's, it's exciting to be here in New Zealand. I hope you're excited about it. And just to make sure I don't miss anything here, Matariki Park is based on New Zealand. Its size is 64 square kilometers. It features 17 animal species, and some of them are new. We got the chamois, European hare, European rabbit, fallow deer, uh, feral goat, feral pig, gray leg goose, helmeted guinea fowl, Himalayan tar pheasant, red deer, New Zealand version, uh, Rocky Mountain elk, sandbar deer, sika deer, white-tailed deer, wild boar, and wild duck. The fantastic and like I had mentioned the Red Deer and Matariki Park have some new trophy variations inspired by some of the record breaking real world stags. So some of those, you know, world record stags, we are actually going to see variations based on them in the game, which is super cool. And you can only find them here in New Zealand. Now, by the time this video comes out, likely the DLC will be released. So you can probably go up on Steam or on Microsoft PlayStation and find it for your own game. There are also portable tripods that you can see in the game, which I mean, I've got one right here. Look at this. Boom. Just like that. Now we have our own tripod stand. We can just go up anytime we want to. Look at that. Elevation, my dear Watson. We can take a shot of this feral pig if we wanted to because we're higher up. And we could put it up on top of this hill or something like that and see even more. See on the other side of the ridge. That's pretty cool. So like I said, if you're excited for this, check it out. It's probably already uh, available for you to grab. And if this video was helpful or you know uh, you found it cool in any way, why don't you hit that like button and subscribe for more videos in the future. Like I said, number one fishing game channel on YouTube. So if you like fishing games, this is where you ought to be. And if you like some hunting games, well, we've got a, we've got a foot in the water there as well. So I hope you enjoyed it. Like, subscribe if you haven't already and if you want to join us our live streams every monday wednesday 7 30 to 9 30 p.m central make sure you do that as well we'd love to see you at the next episode everyone take care comment down below and as always remember everyone we're one planet one family game on